Hello. Oi. Hola. Salut. Good day. Ni hao. Ciao. Salam. And my personal favorite. Howdy, y'all. Welcome to all our new trainers and congratulations. My name is Christy Kate and I am honored to welcome you into our Google Certified Trainer Program. I am a digital innovation consultant with 42 school districts in rural West Texas, USA. I've been a trainer for three fabulous years of inspiration and collaboration. In this video, you'll learn a little bit more of how to successfully navigate our trainer program. We're all so excited to get to know you more and hope that you too will find this experience brings you an international family that wants nothing more than to support you as you educate teachers on all the goodness that Google brings. From all of us here, yeehaw and congratulations. Hi, my name is Al Thomas. I go by EduCopilot on Twitter and Instagram, and I am a visual artist and educational consultant with a focus on creativity. I am so excited that you are joining this amazing community of educators, and we want to make sure you have a solid foundation as you get started. So over the next three weeks, you will receive an email from Google asking you to sign an NDA, since sometimes we share unreleased features and confidential information with our trainers. Please do make sure to sign it, or else we'll have to remove you from our program. Additionally, we have added you to a private trainer's Google group using the same Google email address you use for your application. Please make sure not to unsubscribe from the group and also introduce yourself in our new trainer thread. We'd love to get to know you. Hi, new trainers. My name is Maria Nelly. I am from Bolivia. I am an education technology specialist. I teach in three universities and a secondary school. I am not a trainer like you. Now, once you have joined our Google group, there are a few best practices that our trainer community practices. First, make sure your email notifications are on. Since all communications from Google are shared directly to the group. If you like, you can change the frequency in which you receive them. Second, please make sure to search for previous message threads before posting a new one, since more than likely your question has already been answered before. Third, our fellow trainer, Heather, created these subject line codes to better organize our messages, which you can find on our Google Groups homepage. So, try your best to follow them. Lastly, we love when trainers participate in tricks, but if your message is meant for just one person versus the entire group, please email them directly. Otherwise, your message will be blasted to thousands of trainers. I hope to see you soon Hey friends, Jen Reeves here, technology integration specialist and Google for Education certified trainer from the great state of West Virginia. Now the Google group that was just mentioned to you is a great hub of resources that we as trainers have access to because our biggest resource is each other. But sometimes you'll be receiving information that comes directly from Google. These may be uh, different types of announcements like updates to our programming, professional development opportunities, feature announcements, my favorite, which are the sneak peeks and the stuff we get to see before they're officially launched and sent out in um, to the public eye. Um, opportunities to connect with other Googlers and much more. So you definitely want to be making sure you're tuning in to emails that are coming from the Google for Education um, email address. They're going to be coming from directly from them through that email alias, or they'll be coming from May, who is our trainer program owner. She is amazing. She's one of our biggest advocates. So you'll be hearing a lot from her and she loves to share information that's coming directly from Google as well. So make sure that you pay close attention to these updates that come out from Google and from May so you can stay up to date on the latest from Google for Education. I'll see you on the trainer group. Hi, my name is Gerardo Navarrete. I am a technology consultant and teacher at Universidad Interamericana para el Desarrollo. 
a CIO a LIR, Universidad Autónoma de Campeche to be the first Google Reference University in Mexico. I have been Google Certified Trainer for two years and the leader of GEG Campeche. Another benefit of being in our trainer program is that you get to appear in our Edu Directory. There are a couple of reasons why this is so important. One, you already are such an amazing advocate for Google. And since all of our internal Google reference, our Edu Directory, for partnership opportunities, being visible on the directory allows you that additional opportunity to share what great work you are doing. Two, there are many professional development partners, district leaders, and Google account managers that browse the directory to partner with existing trainers for various training opportunities. And if you are not visible, they don't have a way of finding you. To appear in the directory, please check the consent box in your activity app profile. You can update your banner and other data to customize it. Additionally, you can add recommendations. Hey everyone, my name is May and I'm actually the program owner of our trainers program. Um, I also wanted to pop in and let you know about this awesome resource that we have called the Resource Hub. So this is something created that's actually not from Google, but from uh, fellow trainers like yourself, uh, fellow trainer Tanya, Sarah, Steph, and a bunch of other people, Clay, they all came together and they created this awesome resource hub. Um, and we'll link it here at the bottom. But in that resource hub, you'll be able to find things like Twitter handles, trainer perks, uh, professional development, old videos that we have and just the best part is shared resources with uh, all of the trainers. Uh, there's things that ranges from uh, L1, L2 trainings that trainers have done through other people um, or just things that they do in the classroom like how to use Google Classroom for students and uh, for parents and so on. Hi, my name is Jenna Ashley. I'm a math teacher and resident tech nerd at Smithfield High School in Isle of Wight, Virginia. As a newer trainer myself, I know this can be a whole lot of awesome all at once. But the best part of being a trainer are the really incredible people you get to interact with. Um, some of our trainers are part of regional global educator groups, also known as GEGs or GEGs. Uh, if you want to meet educators in your area who are using Google tools to foster learning in our schools, our classrooms, our communities, uh, please consider joining a GEG near you. And if there isn't one in your region, we can help you start one. Uh, you can visit the communities page on Google for Education's Teacher Center for some more details. Uh, if you still have questions, please feel free to check out globalgeg.org. Um, this group, created by six amazing members of our communities, have brought in existing trainers, innovators, GEG leaders from all over to provide educators with some really incredible resources. Hello and congratulations to all of our brand new Google for Education certified trainers. I'm Bill Vaca from GEG New York and today I'm going to be talking to you about our Trainer of the Month program. Each month Google selects two trainers that have been nominated by their peers for all of the amazing work that they are doing as a trainer for their education community. This is just one of the many ways that Google likes to recognize some of the great work that our trainers do. Now if you're looking to nominate a trainer, please go to the resource hub and you will find the box for trainer of the month or just search in your Google groups. Please feel free to nominate at any time and help us celebrate your peers. My name is Patty Whittington from GEG South Louisiana and I've been teaching for 14 years and just happened across the Google trainer program during our stay at home orders. To me being a trainer has been an amazing opportunity to collaborate with other like-minded people and to grow as an educator. You've been given a lot of valuable information in the previous videos, and now it's time for the really good stuff. One common question that our trainers always ask is, can we have some trainer swag? Well, getting free swag for trainers is something made from Google is working on. But in the meantime, you can buy really cool clothing with our trainer logos from Land's Inn please visit our resource hub to learn more. Additionally, you have probably seen the trainer logo attached to many trainers' email signatures. Well, now you can put one on too. 
You can find them on our trainer site, but please make sure you follow the brand guidelines stated there. Congratulations on your accomplishments and enjoy this journey. Hi, my name is Vicki Anderson and I'm an instructional technology coach from Scottsdale, Arizona. I also teach ed tech courses part-time at Arizona State University and manage the LMS and train engineers at a cybersecurity company called StealthBits Technologies, Inc. I am also privileged to work with a number of phenomenal trainers at EdTech Team, where we provide PD all over the world. Now, one of the coolest things about being in the trainer program is that you obtain a free trainer domain. This is a full G Suite for Education domain of your own. This process is a little confusing for some people, so you'll need to follow the step-by-step -step directions outlined in our trainer site, which is linked in your acceptance letter. If you need more help, our fellow trainers, John and Louie, have created very detailed step-by-step -step guides on how to successfully obtain your trainer domain. For John's resources, please visit the resource hub. For Louie's resources, you can directly search for how to set up a G Suite Google Certified Training Domain on YouTube. Not every trainer takes the time to do this, but I find it to be incredibly helpful to have my own domain, my own admin console, and the ability to create demo accounts for workshops. I hope you love the Incredibles community as much as I do. Congratulations on joining the trainer community. I'm Aida Awad, and I've been a member of this community since the very beginning. Way back over 10 years ago now, a group of 48 of us were invited to Mountain View to kick off the Certified Trainer Program. Since then, I've been able to work with thousands of educators through hundreds of trainings. And as you may recall, one of the requirements of being a trainer is that you lead at least a dozen trainings per year and that you document your trainings in the activity app. Now you might have questions about what counts as a training. So when you do, you can search for the title, expanding the definition of a training session in our Google group. And don't forget from now on, Every time you complete a training, please make sure to log in in the activity app. And here's a tip from a longtime trainer. It's best to do it right away. You should have received a separate email from them to set up your profile in the activity app. Please make sure you do that. Our program owner, May, has outlined why this is an important metric in our Google Groups. So please search for the title, Benefits of Logging Your Trainings. And if you're having trouble logging into the activity app, please email the support alias, which can be found in your acceptance email. I hope to see you in the trainer group really soon. Hi, my name is Jim Eckert. I'm a second year Google certified trainer from Fort Worth, Texas, with 10 years of elementary classroom experience and six years as an educational technology specialist. And here to talk with you about recertification. Each year, trainers will have to recertify to maintain our active trainer status. The exact requirements may change year to year, but the general idea is that you'll have to pass a product exam to make sure you're up to date on Google's product announcements, and you'll have to have logged at least 12 training sessions. And those are very well explained and defined and you have options. This annual recertification process will be kicked off toward October or November of each year. And the number of training sessions required that first year will be prorated based on the month you joined. For full details of the recertification process from last year, please search for it in our Google Groups. Don't stress too much about it. May will provide exact steps when the time Hello, comes. Hello from Buena Park, California, home to Knott's Berry Farm and just 15 minutes away from Disneyland. My name is Teresa Garcia. I am a technology integration program teacher and coordinator. I am a member of GEG SoCal, and I am a Google for Education certified trainer just like you. One of the most common questions uh, from a trainer is whether any of your previous certifications, such as your level ones, your level twos, or your trainer skills assessment, need to be renewed after you've been accepted as a Google for Education trainer. The short answer is no. It is not a requirement for your trainer recertification process, but it's highly encouraged so that you stay up to date on our products. Um, as Jim said before, trainers have to recertify each year around October and November. So don't worry too much about retaking those expiring L1s, L2s, or your TSA certifications. Instead, 
focus on your training sessions and staying current on our Google products. Hey everyone, it's May again. I just wanted to echo what everyone else said before and give you a huge shout out and congratulations for joining our program. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to post on our Google groups and other trainers can respond. Uh, people respond pretty immediately and we're really lucky to have this awesome group uh, for our community. Um, if you have additional questions that you can't find in our Google group or the site or the resource hub, feel free to reach out directly to me um, I also have my teammate Michael on our team, Michael Rigger, that you can reach out to as well. So again, on behalf of Google, I just wanted to welcome everyone and congratulations.